Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from iMore. Today we are taking a look at the game Soul Calibur, recent, recently released for the iPhone and iPad, going for $11.99 in the App Store. Uh, this is a classic arcade game that's been out on consoles. Uh, it's a very weapon-based 3D fighting game. I've played a, a bunch of it uh, on, uh, on both... Uh, Let's see here. Uh, I guess the yeah, Xbox 360 was uh, where I played it most most of the time, but it's a it's a ton of fun uh, and uh, very very cool. As you can see, we've got uh, Game Center enabled there, uh, and we've got the standard on-screen controls. Uh, you'll see in a second here. A lot of the characters you'll recognize: Maxi, uh, Shinwa, uh, Killik is is my personal favorite. And Mitsurugi is also kind of a badass. He's a, he's a samurai dude. Sophia is kind of a knight. Ivy's this uh, badass leather clad girl with a uh, spiky extendo whip. Baldo's this cool kind of circus dude who can't see, obviously, but he does a lot of rolls on the ground and stuff. Uh, Astroth is this big hulking brute with a giant two handed axe. Taki is this ninja chick with uh, a little uh, size or something. Uh, Nightmare is kind of the big boss guy. He's a big cool demon with a giant two handed sword. So um, I'll, I'll go with Kalik here. I, I haven't unlocked all the characters here. I don't know if there's if there's a lot more there or not, but uh, as you'll see, the gameplay is very familiar for those who have uh, who have played the originals. This here is Astaroth. We got joystick control on the side here. Uh, we got horizontal attacks there, vertical attacks like so. We got kicks. And we've got guards. Come on, hit me. Hey, there we go. So, um, boom. I say, I totally knew what I was doing there. <laughs> but uh, on uh, on the Xbox, a lot of the uh, special moves like that require you using uh, two button presses at the same time. Uh, and I find that can be really tricky when you're holding it as one would on the bus you know, with the, just your thumbs like this. So generally speaking, I prefer to play with both of these here. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, you need to use A and B here as soon as I can get back up. There's one move that's my favorite here. Well, wasn't quite it, but it still works, right? Uh, you might have also noticed from the audio here, although the announcer, uh, he speaks English, these guys don't. Uh, so, I mean, that's uh, that's kind of less than ideal. Uh, it does kind of throw off the illusion a fair bit, uh, which is unfortunate, but... Um, I also find that the announcer's sound files are a little uh, low resolution, but uh, that's just me. If you've uh, if you spent any time playing the uh, the original Soul Calibur games, you'll be really happy to see this on here. The eleven uh, the eleven ninety nine price tag might be a little much for most people, though. Uh, I I would personally like to see a price drop relatively soon, um, and may maybe some DLC for some new costumes and, and what have you. Um, I also haven't seen anything in the way of multiplayer support, which would be really great being able to play this on two phone uh, with uh, with two iPhones via Bluetooth, say or even online through Game Center, but uh, that's wishful thinking for the time being. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm really glad to see that the franchise is on iOS, uh, but I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to more of it, so um, I'm, uh, I, I, I would wait for Price Drop to pick this one up just yet, but uh, it's still great for, uh, for big fighting fans. Anyway, this is Simon Sage from iMore, and uh, this has been Soul Calibur for iOS.